General Motors is under growing pressure to compensate victims and families for a deadly ignition switch defect that prompted the recall of 1.6 million GM cars. Terrell Brown is here with the latest on that story. Good morning, Terrell. Vanita, good morning to you. A class action lawsuit has been filed against GM and could grow to include millions of people. It's happening as the death and injury toll connected to GM's massive recall is expected to grow and may include teenagers learning to drive in GM's market entry cars. The class action lawsuit demands General Motors notify people not to drive their defective vehicles anymore and seeks damages as a result of the loss of value of their cars. Attorney Robert Hillard filed the suit. He also represents the families of 18-year-old Natasha Weigel and 15-year-old Amy Rademeyer, killed in a 2006 crash blamed on a defective Chevy Cobalt. You have all of America buying this car, probably using it mostly uh, like one of my clients to teach their teenage children how to drive, thinking it's made by GM, it's going to be safe. Uh, and all the while, GM, in their own filing cabinet, had information to show that this defect is a life-changing event if it occurs to you in the wrong circumstance. GM connects 12 deaths to the recall of its 1.6 million Chevrolet, Opal, Pontiac, and Saturn models. Charles Silvis is one of a growing number of Cobalt owners who says his Chevy simply shut down while driving. There was a car in front of me and I didn't have brakes. My, my, you know, I'm, I'm pressing on the brake and they're just tight. So lucky enough, we were able to pull up the, the emergency brake and so we were able to come to a stop. Scarier still, his two teenage sons learned to drive in the same car. When they're in that car and they're driving around all day and uh, you know now hearing everything that you know has happened we're just grateful that nothing happened to them there's a 19 year old girl driving a cobalt in somewhere in america with this defect so then you have her life in danger you have the lives of the people driving around her in danger how do you reach out to all of them how do you make sure that this defect which could have been fixed on the outset is now fixed on the back end Hiller tells CBS News a conservative estimate of what General Motors could be forced to shell out if his class action lawsuit is successful, $6 billion. GM is not responding directly to the suit, but has apologized and said it'll take care of its customers. Meantime, Congress, federal prosecutors, and GM are all investigating why it took the company so long to recall affected cars when documents suggest it may have known about the defects a decade ago. Anthony. Terrell Brown. Thanks, Terrell.